but let me go back to your courage. You had 49 field trackers in River State. Which other part of the country did you have field trackers? I said 149 field trackers. In However, Port okay. had in Port Harcourt alone, in River State alone? Yeah, only in River State. Okay, which other part of the country do you have or did you have field trackers? We had only field trackers in River State. Why did you focus on River State alone? Um, if you will be willing to give us the funds to have more trackers in the 36 states of Nigeria, gladly we will, we will have it. All right, now tell us some of the changes you saw uh, play out in the political terrain uh, towards the build-up to this 2023 elections. The changes were very negative changes in River State because ordinarily in River State, um, you are allowed to go out and freely campaign. But what we noticed um, the build up to the election was that we had what we call executive order 21 and 22 from the governor and of course uh, to some of us who have been you know observing the civic space we felt like that executive order which clearly states that for you to use certain places to do your campaign in river state you have to um, pay a, um, a non-refundable fee to the government of 5 million naira, considering the fact that some uh, political parties, and if you stretch that to the entire um, 23 political, sorry, the 23 local governments in River State, you, are, you imagine the huge sum of money paying 5 million, 5 million for all the places you use. So that affected the campaign and persons who were seen to be opposition um, of the governor um, were some way um, not allowed to carry out campaign free. And so let's hear from where you stop the changes you've observed from your situation room across the country on the political space. Okay, I think we should just dive into what is happening in River State. Um, the elections in River State apparently was fraught with irregularities, terrible irre irregularities from arrest of political opponents, uh, which started at the eve of the election, and then sporadic shooting in places like um, Obakri, Emoha because the people were reacting to such political arrest of um, the opposition. And you know that sent a signal of violence. Then on the day of the election proper, which uh, uh, is the 18th, um, we had issues of um, late arrival of material in some polling units, although to be fair, uh, I think there was improvement in arrival of materials in uh, most of the wards in River State. However, a certain um, ward in a local government called Kana local government and a community called Quian Community Ward 18, the materials did not arrive in time. And when the materials eventually arrived, it was just in one polling unit. In Asari Toro, elections did not hold on the 18th. We had that rerun election yesterday. That's why, as declaration of results are out, we have not gotten the result from Asari. Then, on the election day, there were reported cases of snatching of the beavers, and also there were beavers that came to places like Ishoku Ward 1 and Ward 2, and those beavers did not have SIM card in them, and that also triggered some kind of conflict and unrest because people were keen to see that the results were transmitted. Funny enough, when it was getting to the end of voting, we started noticing snatching of materials by um, some hoodlums in virtually all the uh, pulling units in River State, that's in Falga, in Obiapo, 
in um, Kana. So we got the reports in virtually all in virtually the all units. the polling we, units. Virtually all the polling units. Virtually all the wards. Sorry, we got that kind of report of snatching of ballot buses. So the irregularities were monumental. We had cases where local government chairmen, especially in MO local government, where local government chairmen moved with the police and hoodlums, especially in Ward 10 in Emowa, and carted away all the materials, did not allow the people to vote. Yet, we got results from such polling units. Now, some party agents like XDB in Falga that tried to resist uh, such uh, activities of rigging uh, were shot dead. That was in Falga. In um, Ahoda, there was also an incident of an APC person shot dead. Then in Ikwere local government area, where a place called Big Elele, Ward 3, Unit 1, a certain APC um, agent was demanding, he was demanding for the result sheets so that he will be sure that results will be transmitted. Uh, the PDP reported him to a vigilante force which should not be part of the election called OSPAC. And OSPAC began to um, match at him and eventually he was rushed to uh, the police station. In fact, in River State, we were shocked when we started receiving reports from Falga, Ward 6, and Ward 7, uh, places called Marine Base, Cemetery, um, and Borokiri, where youths believed to be cultists carried cane, the canes you used to flog your children. They carried canes and uh, they were intimidating voters. If you don't vote for the PDP, we will flog you. So we escalated this matter to the police. And when we escalated the matter to the police, the police eventually went to the scene at Ward 7. But we even saw a video from our field tracker because we had about 149 field trackers on the field. So we got a video from them showing that these um, thugs or suspected cultists have collected back the case from the police officers and you can imagine the level of intimidation and that led to low turnout of voters because people were afraid to even come out and vote for the party of their um, conscience. So these reports were just virtually everywhere. Then we also received reports of vote buying. Now, if you notice where results in River State are collated, Presently, you find out that each result that came from each local government, there was contests, fierce contests by the party agents, stating irregularities. So the question is, is it only an incident of overvoting that results should be cancelled in a polling unit? How about situations where you've seen that a human being has been murdered who is trying to defend the votes in a polling unit? Shouldn't you cancel and have a rerun in such polling units? Do you understand what I'm saying? And also places where votes were not counted and the ballot buses snatched. Shouldn't we have cancellation or rerun in such polling units? So those are the questions we are asking INEC because we also went out from our situation room to the um, field, and when we got to the field, um, around the room in Precon Axis, the governor's stronghold, we saw some young men in three saloon cars that were not branded um, INEC. They were carrying, they had ballot boxes. How did we know? They got to the middle of the road and they were moving the ballot boxes from one saloon car to another. They were not with um, any INEC official or ad hoc stack in that car and then when they got to a military checkpoint where we thought that they should be arrested they were not arrested what we saw was that the police would join them and cut the material to an unknown destination so we raised alarm called the various media station called INEC and we told them this is what 
is happening. So, given the level of irregularity in the elections in River State, one wonders why INEC will be in a hurry to start, you know, pushing this uh, results to the public as if the elections were without irregularities or as if the elections were properly, you know, conducted. Courage in Siri Mobo. Thank you so much for this update. Uh, those questions you've raised are very, very serious questions that we will need INEC to answer. Also, information reaching us right now is that INEC is yet to declare final result in Enugu over alleged over voting. However, you did ask that question is it only over over voting that INEC would withhold or cancel elections? How about the violence that we saw? 